So we're just gonna throw the three trucks side by side, all just pointed at the wall, and just to get like a really good idea of exactly how these things look. So today's video is gonna be about headlights. I think a lot of us want that like white light that looks really nice and high tech, but we have an older vehicle that has halogen reflectors. And a lot of people are driving around with LEDs just shoved into their halogen reflectors and just shoots light everywhere and blinds everybody because they're not really designed for an LED which puts light into specific spots and just doesn't really reflect right. But I was sent some LED light bulbs and I was like, uh, I, I don't know how good they're gonna be. I'm really skeptical, but I'll give them a shot. And so I thought when I do this, I'll just shoot a video about what like the different light bulbs do. And I bought this light meter thing so we can see if they're actually bright or not. We have my truck that has just the stock halogen light bulbs, like the ones that you just pick up from Canadian Tire or somewhere. Then I have these new LED light bulbs that I was sent by Vivid Lumens. This is not sponsored by them at all. They just, we sell their stuff and they send these to me. So we got those. And then we have some cheapo LED light bulbs on Ollie's truck, who is shooting right now. And we're gonna see what those look like compared to the more expensive Vivid ones. And then just to top it off, we have a third gen Tacoma and that has projectors in it because we all know projectors are better. So we just wanna see how much better they are. So yeah, that's everything we got, and let's just go do it. We're gonna shoot everything on the same exposure settings. So now we're just gonna show these stocky halogens, just whatever you get at Canadian Tire. And I'm gonna measure those with my handy dandy tool. All right, so I'm gonna measure at the same spot every time. So I'm getting 83 lux. Halogen. Now we find out uh, if these other ones are even any good. Okay, so lux is a measurement of brightness and it's basically how many lumens per square meter. We're setting it at a specific, like the same distance every time and then the lux will be consistent. It's not really a measurement of how bright the lights are necessarily. It's just a comparison of how bright the lights are compared to each other at the same distance, same everything. Anyway, let's get these LEDs in. They say they're 5,000 lumens. Um, they're just plug and play, no fans, no anything. As you can see, these look horrible. I just installed them and they are like all over the place. You would be just blinding people right now. So let's see if this rotating thing actually does anything. So that's actually not that bad. The cutoff is like, you know, you can see it that there's not like shiny light like crazy above. So I guess we'll just see how bright it is. Same exact spot as we were before. That is way brighter. 225 now. <laughs> All right, so 225 lux. That's on the Vivid LEDs. That's like substantially brighter actually. And it's white, which is, you know, pretty dope. Looks pretty cool. Let's try yours. Ollie has like some cheapo LEDs from Amazon and we'll just see what the cheapo LEDs look like. We're at my point here. Around 164, but if I go down here, 366. So they're actually quite bright, but only in like certain spots, which is like way down here at the ground. Basically what we have here is we have a brighter light, but it seems to be like with no cutoff. So it's probably blinding people a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. 
I guess. <laughs> the way she goes. <laughs> the Vivid ones were a bit less bright, but they definitely had like a, a significant cutoff. So they were actually working in a halogen reflector, which is really cool. And then we got uh, the halogens, which were basically useless. Uh, so yeah, I guess the last thing we can do is check out this third gen and see what some real projectors look like. All right, so as you can obviously tell, there's like a substantial cutoff, which is really sweet. So these are just the stock lights and we're at 150, we'll say 158. Hit 158 there. The projector is obviously the way to go as far as cutoff goes. Alright, so we're just gonna throw the three trucks side by side, all just pointed at the wall, and see what the difference is. I think we might pull up a bit closer to the wall though, just to get like a really good idea of exactly how these things look. Pretty crazy, as you can see. There's some wild scattering going on. So starting with all these with the cheap Amazon lights, you can see it's got like some crazy hot spots and then there's quite a lot of light coming up and then obviously way up there, um, which is just light that's basically just doing nothing. Um, but they were pretty bright, so we'll give them that. Then we got the vivid ones that I just put in my truck. They've got some hot spots as well, for sure. Um, they do have like that weird kick, which is part of how the cutoff is, but they, they do cut off relatively nicely. So I'm impressed by that for sure. And then lastly, we have the third gen with the projectors and like there's no comparison. Like it's just got perfectly even light and a substantial like clear cutoff like it's by there's a reason that technology progresses and gets better hopefully and in this case it definitely has so that's really cool pretty interesting i'm excited to have learned something today cool all right so that was more a video for me wanting to actually find something out than anything i even bought the light meter just for this video i really have no other reason to have it but uh Maybe I'll review some light bars or something in the future. So definitely like and subscribe if you're interested in anything that we're doing here. And uh, thanks so much for checking out the video. We got lots of crazy stuff. We got adventure trips. We got review kind of things. We got how-to informational dealios. And uh, yeah, anyway, so yeah, very unscientific, but uh, gives us a pretty good idea of, of what these different lights do. So. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.